Hello and welcome everybody. So we continue our series here, video series on the two-dimensional airfoil. So this step in this video we will perform mesh preparation. And before we do that, we need to save the file of the Salome here. And I think this is we can name it. Okay. Now go on to the mesh module here and click on the surface face here and cl click on create mesh. We will apply uh, quadrangle mesh and also we will in the in the one dimensional uh, hypothesis we will use local length I think. Let's start with one apply and close and save let's compute let's take a look to the initial result so this is the result um, we have a very bad mesh here as you can see it's so bad it's so coarse so maybe the first step is to refine the local length let's put 0 0.1 for example apply and close save and remesh so it's uh, it's better okay but it's better if we have you know uh, if we have a denser uh, mesh around the airfoil and less dense mesh on the far field patch so how do we do that <coughs> how do we uh, refine the mesh around the airfoil so we can do we we can do it with a lot of a lot of ways actually one way is using the sub mesh here so the first uh, we need to create the sub mesh the sub mesh will be the sub mesh of left and right uh, edge here so we name it right and apply and also we name it left apply and close so let's edit the sub mesh here we use the wire discretization and we will use the number of segment here and we will apply for example 150 or maybe 100 first apply okay apply do the same for the left sub mesh hundred apply so let's do the comp the mesh computation okay uh, I don't think something changing so there is something wrong with the with the submission actually we forget to put the hypothesis here apply apply and close so we will see the difference now okay quite good and to get a denser mesh here we can do the we can manage this by using the here we use equidistant distribution but to make sure that we have denser mesh around the airfoil we use scale distribution here so let's say a hundred times maybe apply and into the left onto the right sub mesh as well okay apply and close and clear the mesh data save and recompute as you can see we put the we put a wrong direction of the of the scaling actually so we get a very bad mesh here so but don't worry we will we will prepare we will, we will repair it actually so 
um, there is a error message as well so basically okay we need to split it oh thing here yeah. so basically the the left side here is the right uh, edges so we can uh, as you can see because in the in the right edges in the right edge the scaling is small around the far field but big around the air field so we need to refer uh, the direction of the of the of the sub mesh here <coughs> so we can reverse edges this is the right edge and let's try it add okay apply and close clear the mesh and make a save and the compute okay now we have the correct mesh as you can see it's a lot better right but still we have this problem well we can solve this later because we need to find out whether it is accepted on open form or not so how do we do that let's open the open form oh before we open the open form let's do the modification of the mesh here let's do the extrusion click on face object and edges and click on z because we will we will extrude the mesh into the z direction here so we have a 3d mesh remember the open form will accept only 3d mesh so we need to create the 3d mesh even for two dimensional case or two dimensional problem so modification extrusion click on click on this and click on z let's say 0.1 by and close okay you get it and let's check the mesh quality on on open form so export the mesh into the unv file and put it on the airfoil and name it let's say air airfoil mesh save and we need to convert as you can see we have this file already airfoil mesh unv so we need to convert the mesh into the open form format by doing ideas unv to form and the name of the file apply let's check the check the mesh check the mesh quality so we have this max 6.8 so it's it's bad actually because as you can see here highly skewed mesh stack detected which may impair the quality of the result so how do we resolve this um we can repair this by using as we can see we can edit this one uh, let's add the number of the segment and let's put the very big scale factor here 600 let's try this one apply and write edge will be the same it's 150 and it's 600 okay good good now save remesh the things and here we have we have much better mesh as you can see here right so let's do the extrusion again and find out the mesh on the open one click click point one find close and export unv file click on air file mesh save so but the first thing before we do this ads you unv to form 
command we need to remove the the mesh we have here so remove uh, you, you can use um, command line or if you don't know the the command the command for removing the folder you can go to the folder itself I put it here the mesh is located in the poly mesh so remove it also if you want to find out how the command to remove the folder here we have R rm minus rf so we can try this command letter so now we go to the edit unv to form again and go on to check mesh as you can see the schooners is now good but we have this high aspect ratio well this can be solved by using a smaller extrusion actually so let's do this and compute and do the modification extrusion click on this one click on this one and we put half of it maybe enough okay so convert unv file click on this save yes and remove the old one constant polymesh and do the ideas unv form and check mesh okay now the mesh is okay um, but before we do the calculation we need to generate the patches on this uh, mesh how do we do that first clear everything and click on this create a group from geometry as you can see here so the geometry we will apply is the far field air field and the face okay now do the count save do the calculation of the mesh and do the extrusion click on this click on this and do put point zero point zero five and apply and close it will generate the group of edges face and volumes on the open form but in this problem we only need the face so we delete the volume group and we delete uh, so the edges group here yeah? and rename the patches the face one top will be face two the L X the airfoil extrude will be airfoil only and the far field extruded will be far field only okay awesome and export it into the UNP file save yes now go on to the open form again and remove the old folder and go to the UNP form function so we have this and check mesh okay everything is correct and go on to the paraform to have a look to the result with the mesh so we have this this is now working very good mesh and you can also select the, the patch we want for example we want only the airfoil let's go to the airfoil okay this is the airfoil we get so that's it how we prepare the mesh and in the next video we will do the folder setup and run the simulation so see you on the next video bye